Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today I'll show you some real basic stuff about uh, five axis and Mastercam. So uh, let's get started. So here's our part and we are clamping on it with a fifth axis vise. Or we're just pretending there's a dovetail at the bottom. This is the website where you can download the 3D model of the fifth axis. So you can download that and merge that into your master cam, which is really useful when you're doing back plot and verify. And it's it's a very accurate model, so that's a pretty important step. Get that downloaded. So what we want to do is add planes on the right and left so we already have a, a three axis type deal going we're milling that hole in the top now we want to go five axis mode and mill the holes in the side so we're just going to duplicate plane 100 we'll call it 101 side hole Now we want to edit it. Grab your gnomon. Select this right side and rotate your Z up. Okay. So that looks good. We have it rotated 90 degrees. So next we want a plane on the other side. So we're going to go up to the green plus, create a new plane from solid face. We'll click the other side and we can click the arrow until our X is facing the correct way. We can rename that plane 102 side hole. You can either duplicate your planes or you can create from new faces or you can create from holes. There's lots of ways to to pinpoint planes on parts. Okay, so we have our our original three axis type plane and then we have our other planes. So you want to go down to work offset and click manual and change it to zero. On 100 101 and 102. All that does is make it so when you post everything, it all comes out as G54. If you didn't change it to zero, 101, plane 101 would be G55, and 102 would be G56. So zero just tells it all to be G54. Okay. So now we want to add toolpaths. So that first toolpath is looking good and we just want to paste it below. And we don't want that geometry, we want the geometry on the side. We, we want to mill the side hole, so we click on that. Click the check. Now, we go into parameters. This is a very important step. We go to planes. See how it says 100? We want to keep that 100 in work coordinate system, but tool plane, we want that at 101 and comp construction plane 101. And there we go. As you can see, There we go. So that looks good. We got the top hole done and we got the side hole done. So we're going to copy, paste that again. And now we're going to select the geometry on the other side of the part. So 
So I'm going to show you what happens when we just put everything at 100. We don't select that 102 plane. What it's trying to do is come down from the 100 plane, which is looking down. What we want it to do is come from the side. So we click on 102 for tool plane, 102 for construction comp plane, regen. There it goes. Perfect. So we have our plane set up right. We have it all set to G54. Now we just have to double check our speeds and feeds. Go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Click on aluminum. And we'll just start typing in some info here. So we can go some speeds and feeds we'll put in is 7600 by okay now we just want to hit reinitialize speeds and feeds and we'll have to do that for all of them Alright, so this is just the basics of doing some 5-axis. There's lots of stuff we, we left out, but just getting those planes set up right and then going in your parameters and setting the planes correctly in your toolpaths, that will get you pretty far. Now, there's lots of things on which way your X and Y should be facing on your side hole planes, but we can get that to that in, in different videos. So. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe for more, and we'll uh, see you later. Thanks.